Well, you know, for one thing, it's it's just the fact that there's so many plays that he's written uh, in the in the cycle. I, I started directing them back in the early '90s. It, it enabled you to really, and I was an actor too, so I was doing, and still am, but I was doing a lot of acting at the time. And for an actor to, to be doing these uh, his plays, it's just it, the richness of it. Just it it. it uh, the stories make you want to do research and find out, you know, what he's talking about. And I learned a lot about uh, blues uh, of the 20s, you know, from Ma, Ma Rainey, and then the urban development that's going on in a lot of the plays. You start to look at your own city. So in that sense, it's enabled me to have a, a passion for the work as far as an actor and a director. I did retire from theater for... Uh, a few years when I left New York because I, I really felt burnt out and a friend of mine Stephen McKinley Henderson uh, helped me you know regenerate my my passion and that was basically when uh, we started doing August Wilson's work so in that sense it just made me a full uh, a, a, a more complete actor and director because of the the, the work that uh, that you had to put into doing his plays basically Events of the story, you know, it's it's dealing with uh, what a lot of cities are going through, a lot of urban areas are going through, Rochester, I'm from Buffalo, and Buffalo's going through the same thing where they're trying to regenerate downtowns, and they're, they're taking some areas and doing some, some demolition and then not doing anything with the land, things like that. <laughs> so I think the relevance of the story, and again, the poetry and the, the characters, um, I would say that because of the the uh, subject matter of the plays and the the, the style of the writing, uh, again the richness of, of not only the acting and the dialogue, but also the set, the sound is very important, uh, costumes, all that. They're just um, something that I think the audiences will will enjoy watching, is not only hearing and listening, but watching and seeing the this type of play, uh, the relevance for themselves in their own cities. Um, to be able to bring bring these things to life and, and make them think about things uh, in their own city, in their own uh, their own lives, basically. Well, I hope it makes them want to do something to find out, you know, what's going on in their own cities to see uh, what they can do to 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 change or to help their their city. Uh, again, his plays take mostly uh, take part mostly in Pittsburgh, and uh, but yet. The same thing is going on in, in, in other cities, so I, I hope it would make people just think about uh, their own lives and the way they treat other people, um, the way that uh, things are done through the, the, uh, the city council and things like that. So, you know, hopefully it will make uh, uh, people want to see more August Wilson's work. Uh, I know you would think that a lot of people have heard of or seen August, but I was just in Buffalo. And uh, I was talking to some of my friends about what I was doing here in Rochester. And when I said I was doing a play by August Wilson, they had no idea what I was talking about. So there are a lot of people who, who haven't heard of or seen these plays. So I, I, would, I would hope that it would just revive a lot of people into wanting to see more theater um, because of the, the richness of dialogue. And I, I hope it would get a new generation of people into the theater, you know, so that you know you can find and maybe I know a lot of people might want to read some of the other ten plays that uh, nine plays that August wrote if you don't know he wrote a ten play cycle where he covered every decade of the African American experience in America so I, I would hope that it would just re, uh, you know re, uh, rekindle or kindle period uh, a, a, a passion about wanting to see more theater that August Wilson had written. Coming home to, uh, to work. Uh, I started as a 12-year-old kid in the Studio Arena Theater School, which is uh, right up the road. So when I left Buffalo, uh, there was always a, a dream to come back home to do work in Western New York. Um, well, I just, I think it's, there's a pride about it because I do know the area. It is my my area, and I consider Western New York, Buffalo, Rochester, I consider it all, because being here even uh, I, I, it just seems like I'm home, even though I'm from Buffalo and this is Rochester. But it, you know, it's the same type of feel. You know, I see Bills paraphernalia around, and I'm I'm a Bills fan, and uh, so that makes me feel. I live in Chicago. I'm so sick of seeing Bears stuff around. But uh, 
<laughs> you know. So it's just it, it just makes me feel very comfortable to be home. I did direct a show at Studio Arena Theater uh, a few years back, and again, that being my hometown, and specifically was even was was really great too. So it's just being in close proximity to friends and family uh, has a special meaning.